Coronation Street spoilers. David left reeling by two shocking decisions from Audrey. It's been a terrible few weeks for longtime Coronation Street character Audrey Roberts, Sue Nichols. Not only is she dealing with the death of her beloved son Stephen, Todd Boyce, who was run over in the street and died instantly. Worse than that, she's having to come to terms with discovering that the son she idolized was a fraudster and a multiple murderer. The Platt family were stunned when Sarah told them about Stephen defrauding Audrey and drugging Carla, Allison King. She just thinks he has conned her out of her money. She doesn't know he has killed people, Sue Nichols told us as Stephen's storyline reached a climax. It is wonderfully complex and it is true to life. You see these mothers that blindly support their offspring no matter what they have done. To be honest you get the sense that if he manages to escape and disappear she would be happy about that. Of course that's not what happened. Cornered. Stephen tried to take Jenny. Sally Ann Matthews. Hostage and was mowed down in the street by Peter Barlow. Chris Gascoigne. S. Carr. As Peter thought Jenny's life was in danger. As Audrey learns to live with the guilt that her own flesh and blood committed some terrible crimes. She also has to face the fact that he left her in deep financial trouble after defrauding her. She makes the decision to go back to what she knows best, and David, Jack P. Shepard, and Max, Patty Bever, are stunned when she announces she's going back to work. Following this, she decides to sell the barbers. That way she can buy back her house in Grasmere Drive and regain some security. She also says that she'll be going back to working in the salon, meaning that either David or Maria, Samia Longchambin, will have to leave. David and Maria try to talk her out of this decision, and they're genuinely worried about Audrey's health as much as they are about their jobs. Tired of their protests, a weary Audrey ushers them out of the salon and locks the door. Has she made the right decision? Or are David and Maria right that it's all too much for her to cope with?